Okay, so um, at last, in that video I made earlier, what what I was trying to say basically is this. Now, your pentatonic scale comprises of five notes, which, and they are uh, do re mi so la, do re mi so la, do re mi so la. And this is what gospel bass players use most times when they play. You, if you play, if you listen to uh, so many gospel uh, uh, songs, you hear this. Uh, gospel songs are replete with the pen pentatonic skill. What you might just find is people apply them differently. Do you understand? So, what I'm going to try to show you is what I did in my last video. Now, what I did was. I played, I'm trading my sorrow. Now what I just did was I applied the pentatonic scale. And what were the notes I played? So I hammered on into this. And then what you need to know is most of most of these notes are just basically repetitions if you can understand this you know principle you wouldn't have uh, any challenge deciphering the you know the pentatonic skill so i'm just going to show you some other applications do you understand that you can use and uh okay i'll just i'll just go ahead and show you some other applications so you know Understand. And then another thing I was trying to explain in that video is now you don't have to stick with the pentatonic skill. You can have a way. You can find a way to to blend it with uh, your your major skill to make your play a little less boring, a, a, a little more interesting. Do you understand? For I, I just give you a a practical example. Now you are playing. <laughs> Fa. You understand? Fa is not a note in the pentatonic scale arrangement. But you have to find a way to be creative and add this note because the end the end goal is not to focus so much on theory but to be able to express yourself maximally when you're playing. That's the end goal. So you play So I play did you hear that? Fami re do ti la so fa mi And another thing you need to understand is how to substitute notes. The major note is the, the major bass line rather is But you see I did Me I substituted me for do Do you understand? That's another thing you need to know no. And then when you're playing keep an open mind remember that you're playing with other instrumentalists you're playing with the keyboardist and the drum and the and the drummer but while you're playing you have to pay attention when you're playing rather you have to pay attention to all these you know everything going on around you do you get my point and that's how i the most times that's how i derive, derive my feels from what the keyboardist is, is playing and then the reading that the drum the drummer gives so you need to understand that too so how do i how do i apply my major skill to my playing it's simple all i need to know is know my so i'm going to explain it to you now that's one that's that's a that's a passing note if you like or if you like or if you can call it a skill but but listen again you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, 
let me just give you an, ex an exercise that you can do to master your pentatonic skill. Now remember, the remi so on last song, we are going to start from last, and then we are going to invert, invert, invert until we come to we come to this this octave here, starting from here. So this is the exercise. La so mi re so mi re do mi re do la re do la so do la so mi la so mi re so mi re mi re do la re do la so do la so. Did you get that? Understand now, simple. Do you get? Do you understand? Let me know if you do. <laughs> 